Hi, Black and Matt from Football Boost at Karuke, and today we're going to pair the Hybrid Phantom 2, the one with the brand new Nike Skin Upper, and the previous Hybrid Phantom 2. Which boot is actually better? We'll find out in this video. So, this is the brand new Hybrid Phantom 2, the one with the original Hybrid Phantom 1 Upper. It's really soft, it's really flexible, it's going to help the break in period. And this is the Phantom 2 with the stiffer Nike Skin Upper, which a lot of people, a lot of professionals didn't actually like. Like Samari Mandzukic, Thiago Alcantara and Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang actually didn't like this Hybrid Phantom 2 and they switched to other Nike models like the Mercurial Range for example because they just didn't like that upper so they switched back to the Hybrid Phantom 1 upper it was first seen on the Hybrid Phantom 1 this is the Golden Dream Hybrid Phantom 1 which was worn by Neymar at the World Cup in 2014 a really sort of soft upper what do you think Matt? Yeah as, as you were saying a lot of players professional players they didn't like this upper so they did go back to what was the original Phantom 1 upper and like me I, I didn't like this upper either I mean playing in this one it, it wasn't for me it felt quite stiff so that so Nike have gone back to this original Hyphen and Phantom 1 upper on the Phantom 2 so overall it's still very responsive something that the Hyphen and Phantom 2 was but it has this upper which I'm actually a huge fan of so this is a perfect product for me. So if I just bring in the Hybrid Phantom 1, now this is the Hybrid Phantom 1, as you can see it was one of our test pairs and one of the, one of the pairs we actually wore for a season and yeah look, sole separation, you've also got that top layer, the top rubberized layer actually peeling off that mesh based system and yeah that's pretty much why Nike switched to a Hybrid Phantom 2 with a stiff upper because of the sole separation. Now you're not having, you're not going to have any sort of sole separation or any problems with durability in the Phantom 2 with the stiff Nike Skin Upper. So Nike have put the, uh, the original soft Nike Skin Upper on the Phantom 2 and we all are hoping that you don't get the same durability issues with the new Hybrid Phantom 2. So someone who's actually worn the Hybrid Phantom 1, it's got a really sort of grippy honeycomb texture. It's going to work really good in wet conditions and when you're striking the ball you just feel how grippy the upper is. What do you think Matt? Yeah, you do definitely get that grippy sensation, especially when striking and passing the ball. And it does have that honeycomb texture as well, so it does give a nice cushion effect too. Overall, I mean, it's a lovely product to play in. As I said, I wasn't a fan of the Phantom 2, the original one, because that stiff upper. But the new upper, which was the Phantom 1, it does make a really lovely boot. Yeah, so the Hyphen Phantom 2, the original one, has a sort of fragmented texture, and the upper itself is quite smooth. It's, it's a really stiff upper, it's a smooth upper, it's really going to be a lot different to the new grip, like sort of rubberized texture you're going to see on the new Hyper Phantom 2, which I think is a really good decision by Nike Football. So if I just quickly compare the features of these two boots, both got dynamic fit collar, both got that same off-center lacing system. Pretty much the only thing which has changed is this upper. So you've got the, both called Nike Skin Upper, stiff on this boot and very, very flexible on this boot. Both got Brio cables in the same places and yeah, the sole plates are exactly the same. This is the SG pair and this is the AG pair. The studs are in different locations, but that's just with the sole plates. But overall, the boots are exactly the same in terms of, in terms of features. So really nothing different there. So of course, an important factor if you are somebody who wants the new Hyphen Phantom 2 with the upper is of course its sizing. And the fact of the matter is, it's actually gonna fit exactly the same as what the Phantom 2 or the Phantom 1 did. And it's very true to size. I'm a player that likes a snug fit. I went from my UK 10 and a half and it's perfect for me. So if you are interested in a pair, definitely go with your true to size. So in terms of fit on the Hybrid Phantom 2, now it's not the widest boot by Nike Football, the likes of the Tempo Legend, it's probably the widest boot by Nike Football. It's got roughly going to be the same width as the Majesta Obra by Nike Football. And the Mercurial Superfly is renowned for being narrow and it's much more narrow than this boot. It's pretty much universal in terms of fit. I'm someone with wide feet myself. And I did wear this one and it was quite tight around the midfoot but it did fit, fit my feet quite well. Over time I broke the down the upper and it was, was quite a comfortable boot for a synthetic boot especially. So the big question is, is this boot actually better than this boot? Really it's all about personal preference. Someone who has actually worn this boot prefers a sort of grippy touch to the ball. It's got a softer, it's more flexible on this boot. It's really more leather-like on this boot in terms of the uppers, in terms of contact and overall comfort and this is a very sort of synthetic feel very stiff it's not going to be the most comfortable boot on the market hence why Nike switched back to the more comfortable Nike skin what do you think Matt? Yeah so although Nike have just made one change obviously changing the upper it's actually made a big difference playing in these today testing them they were actually a lovely pair of boots so overall yeah it's a huge improvement from Nike. So that is our sort of comparison of these two new Hybrid Phantom 2 boots 
What do you think? Which one would you go for? The brand new Hyphen Phantom 2 with the old Nike skin upper or the original Hyphen Phantom 2? Please vote in our poll card now. That is our video. Drop any questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching as always. We'll see you next time.